Yeah, Hi, right. welcome back to the North Branch. Do you like gardening? Boy, I do. <laughs> do I have a video for you today on ventilation in the greenhouse? Some people are like, oh, you don't need it, but the plants need the air. Hey guys, Nate and I made a lot of progress on our greenhouse over the past couple days. Got this first bed filled up and officially planted the first thing in this greenhouse. I put eight peppers plants in this bed, looking extremely healthy, really dark greens. So I'm excited to watch these things grow and get some peppers here in the next couple months. Um, but once that was all done, we really wanted to focus on getting the ventilation figured out for this greenhouse. When we built this last fall, we didn't really think about the ventilation. We were just worried about getting the walls up, getting everything framed out and finished up before winter hit. And we ended up getting that done like the night before it got below freezing and started snowing. We were just kind of thinking like, oh, we'll figure out ventilation next spring uh, when the time comes, when we need it. And we've had a few uh, really warm days for this time of year in Northern Wisconsin. And the greenhouse was getting well over 100 degrees or sitting about 100. And that was even with keeping the doors open all day. So I like got a fan out here and I mean that worked temporarily for a little bit, but we wanted to get the ventilation done uh, so we can start putting the rest of the raised beds in place and getting this thing filled up with plants. The idea was we had these huge doors on this side of the greenhouse. So we were thinking we were going to make some windows on the complete opposite side of the door and get like a cross breeze. We wanted to make them pretty sizable. So hopefully this will be all the ventilation we need. We have plans on putting one on the corner on this side, on this wall up here somewhere uh, just in case. But this window frame that we did build is pretty big. So when these things are both open and the doors are both open, uh, there's a nice breeze through here. And so far we've been able to control the temperature and keep it at a good place for the plants that are gonna be in here. But Nate actually built the first window on this one when I was building some raised beds and planting out some of these seedlings that we had growing in here. And he fit this like a glove, it's absolutely perfect. It sits in here nice, it's easy to open, easy enough to open, but it's also, when I open it, it's tight enough to where it just sits here on its own and it's not going to get blown around with wind too much because that's something we were worrying about. Uh, so both of these windows, once they're open, they stay in place. So that's actually very nice. I don't have to worry about these things like getting blown around by the wind too much or breaking or doing something like that, causing damage. We built the second one and it was a little too big. So I just sand it down for like 15, 20 minutes and <laughs> just kept like whittling it down until it fit in here perfectly. So both of these windows on the south side of our greenhouse. Seemed to be functioning really well and it seems to be a good solution for what we needed for this place. Once we were done with that, we built another raised bed and got it in this corner. And that took up this entire side of the greenhouse is now two raised beds. Don't have this filled up or planted yet, so that's the next thing I'm doing. But it's in place, which is the important thing. Another thing we did is we used to have the shelf right here and it was kind of lining this entire wall here. So we took this same shelf and rotated it to sit on top of this platform that we built here. And we had to build this platform because we have a giant boulder that's like in the bottom of this greenhouse. Top of it's exposed and it's sitting up like a foot. So we had to build this platform over it. And we have this rain barrel in the corner here we're gonna set up some gutters on the outside collect the rainwater, and funnel all that into this rain barrel to water this greenhouse um so that's gonna be on the very corner of this platform so we flip this shelves around and we tied it to the front of this platform i'm really glad that we did that i think it kind of makes it a better use of space because instead of having this empty space on the front side of this platform it's now shelving there's some storage underneath where i can keep some extra lumber and some of the seed starting supplies things like that but now that that's done i have this entire section of this greenhouse the plan is to make a giant raised bed maybe a couple of them but we want to devote as much of the space as we can to growing area growing space raised beds so flipping the shelf the way we did we were able to free up a lot more space for growing while keeping the same exact size shelf. And once all this was done, we wanted to figure out this door on the front of the greenhouse. The original door we put on here, they were flimsy. We tried to use too thin a board. They ended up breaking. So we knew we were gonna have to reframe the door. And since we were doing the ventilation on the other side of the building, we figured we might as well just redo the door and kind of just do a bigger version of the windows that we just made. So we're just gonna make like a couple more windows here that you can flip open if you need to for extra ventilation and just use this side as the actual doorway because this is where you walk in anyway because of the platform. So we decided to make this the doorway, walkway, and then put some more windows in here. It's all been a couple days of work, got a lot of stuff set up, but I love everything we've done in terms of rearranging the space and kind of optimizing 
our available area. So the next thing we're doing is I'm filling up this raised bed, first of all, and then I'm building the rest of the raised beds in this entire space, getting those filled up and planted. I need to get that done right away. And there's a couple other things we need to finish up in this greenhouse, like this panel blew off in a, in a windstorm we had. So we need to redo that. There's a couple trimming issues and I'll get into all these in a different video. I'm gonna be making a greenhouse mistakes video coming up soon. And then once that's all done, I'm gonna get to work on setting up this rain barrel, collecting rainwater, and getting all the irrigation set up in here. <laughs> 